to Urban Smash TV with your girl Emerald Coppo. I have the lovely Jay Soul with me. How are you? I'm fine, how are Looking, you? I love your I'm fine with you. <laughs> I know, I don't think you wrap this, this one. This is nice, it's a lot. I wanted to do something really special for you, so <laughs> this is all for you, mate. Yeah. So I'm special. I was like the show. Okay, here on Urban Smash, what we do with all of our guests, we start off with an icebreaker because sometimes it's a bit weird to like you're getting interviewed and oh, what, so what should we do? So we start off with like a random question that you're going to pick out and answer. Okay. Right. Shall I read it out? Okay. It says, uh, if you had to be trapped in a TV show for a month, which show would you choose? That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> TV show. Um. Even, well, even in that, like, what shows did you used to watch in the olden days? Could be one of olden the olden days. Yeah, the olden, <laughs> days, olden, shows. The olden days. Olden wow. days shows. Woo, olden days. Well, I don't know because I'm not old. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Back in the days. Back in the days. Back in the days. Okay. Young days. <laughs> my younger days. Um, I used to like watch my Isha, Keith oh, and Kel, oh. Sister Sister. So which one would you be trapped in? Out of those ones. Malicious. Those are not really... You can be trapped in and then you, you get to date Brandy, so that's fine. Trapped in a Marisha. Yeah. I'm actually seeing her tonight as well. I'm going to the concert. <laughs> oh, are you? Just put that out there. <laughs> um, uh, Power Rangers. Pa I'm a oh, fan of Power Rangers. Yes. So it'll be probably Power Rangers. Oh, Fox Kids or Yeah, yeah. Fox Kids. Which one would be the red, blue? The white ranger? No, no, no. The white one got air. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, probably, which one was the most popular all the time? Was it I think it's the red, red. Yeah. the red ranger was the red, blue, yeah, yeah, I want to be the red one. one. Where we go, you'll be trapped in the I'll be trapped in the Power Rangers for a month. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, it's a great pleasure to have you here on Urban so Smash TV. You know, if you like, got your music video out at the moment, mm -hmm. treat you like a lady, mm -hmm. and you're doing major, major stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, do you have it, your EP out yeah, as well? Yeah, my EP's not out at the moment. I'm still working on it. We're still putting together certain mm -hmm. stuff, and I'm so excited for it because the sounds I'm doing and stuff that people are not used mm -hmm. to, like a lot of people here, the sounds I put out is like, it's quite, it's very commercial. Yeah. Um, I like to say pop R&B, mm -hmm. um, but they're heavy on the auto tune, but on these stuff that I've been doing recently, there's some R&B mm -hmm. stuff, there's some futuristic stuff, there's yeah. some Afro beats, there's house, deep house, so like, I'm so excited and mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't wait for people to hear it because I think they're gonna be surprised. So you like to touch on like little different I'm bits Yeah, because I, I think it's important for this EP that I give a bit of everything mm -hmm. that I can do. Not everything, but a bit of everything so that I can see which, what sound people kind of warm up to your most and yeah. I think that'll give me a good insight to what my supporters like as well. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. So you've got the Treat Her and Like a Lady and that's got, yeah, I mean, me. it's got loads of views on YouTube yeah. that has been spread around yeah. and it's I mean, an amazing video. Really yeah, good. thank you so much. And uh, are you, uh, that's what you have at the moment, are you working on anything at the moment? Um, so apart from my EP, yeah. um, I'm doing lots of shows. Mm -hmm. I've got I've got Freshers Week this week. I'm flying to Malta. Wow. I've got one in West Midlands mm -hmm. in Birmingham next week to 10,000 people. So I'm so excited about that. Oh, I'm very yeah. nervous because yeah. <laughs> it's not every day you get to perform 10,000 people. Yeah, so, no way. Um, th I mean, the last big show I've done was last month. I got to perform at the National Lottery at the Olympic Stadium. So that was like mm -hmm. a dream come true because I remember last year I was I was sitting at home watching mm -hmm. Jesse J and Lisa and they were performing there. So I was I have to bring my A game up. Yeah. So like. I gave everything in that, but this is another one. big crowd so that I want to do something special, so I've got to get ready for that. So I'm really excited. There's just lots of shows, um, studio, mainly I'm pretty much studio every day like after this one, yeah. studio. So, um, busy guy. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it busy mm. and just keep the music flowing. And um, but the best place to catch me is probably on my website www.jsoy.co.uk. Just put it out. Yeah, the plug it in. That's what we're all no about. <laughs> um, and Twitter. Even though I don't tweet a lot these days, Twitter's I'm bad good. Bad. Yeah, I'm really crap with it. I'm getting crap with it. But um, Twitter at jsoy. Yeah, jsoy's me. Without the you. Because I mean, people are gonna see you and be like, oh, do you know what? I want to do what this guy's doing. Cause yeah. Now let's just face it, it's not easy to break into the music industry. Mm. I mean, what would you say, because there's one thing having a great voice, is that I mm. feel like at the moment there's so many people that can sing. Mm. What would Sorry, you say man. you need to kind of just, yeah, this is going to maybe give you the extra edge? What, what, would you, what do you need in this package? Res resilience, I, I, hard work. Yeah. I honestly believe, honestly believe hard work. Like, there are some amazing people out there that are phenomenal, mm. but they probably won't go far because they don't want it that bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, there's a saying, saying, there's a saying that um, hard, hard, oh, what's the saying? Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard enough. Mm. So 
Like, there's a lot of people, you probably have people on TV that are huge and like, why are they that big? Yeah. They work hard. Yeah. You're like, I've seen people on the road that sing 10 times mm-hmm. better. But them people, they work hard, they're in the studio. Like, last week I was in the studio till 10 o'clock the next day. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was sleeping when everyone was at lunch break, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I had to for a quick thing and then I had to get back up and go to the studio again. So, like, people don't know the hard work that, that yeah, artists have to go it. through. And, the, the amount of um, letdowns and some people can't get back up from the letdowns and there's a lot of there's a lot of holdbacks there's a lot of uh, waiting around on people on producers you can get sad you can get dropped mm. but are you gonna just give up there or are you gonna carry on Beyonce got dropped when she was in Destiny's Town do you know what I'm saying mm. but she's Beyonce like, yeah. look at her now she could have just easily given up do you know what I'm saying so there's a lot of knockbacks and it's just kind of seeing how you can get back from them so I got a cold. But it's just kind of seeing how you get back up from that and I always get back up. Definitely. Obviously you get them days where you want to give up, but you remember why you want to do mm. it in the first place and that just motivates you to work harder. Do you know what I'm feeling this like great determination for you? I love it. I don't know, it's just scenery. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's just making me ooh. It's just I feel like I'm preaching, but yeah. Well, yeah. we won't keep you too long, but last like one of the last questions. Yeah. Like, is there anyone at the moment that you're like, yes, I would love to collaborate with them that like, I need to you know, get them? Yeah, in the UK or in America or wherever. Could be anyone else. Um I wanna collaborate in the UK. I wanted to collaborate with Snoop Dogg for a while. Right. I think he's heavy. And when I met him at the um, the Band of Oliver Twist video mm-hmm. um, that I was dancing in, um, we just kind of, we're both the same age as well, we're mm-hmm. both Nigerian. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, it would be so cool if we could just get a song together and yeah. just do something together. I think that'd be amazing. But um, apart from that, I'd love to work with Louis Kessian. I'm a massive fan. Mm-hmm. I'm probably like, I'm just such a big fan mm-hmm. of Louis Kessian. But overall, Usher or Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. Because those yeah. are artists that inspire me. Obviously, I love to dance and sing at the same time, and those are artists that know how to put on a show and entertain. So, definitely Usher or Beyonce. Amazing, amazing. I know you should. Uh, would you ever see yourself collaborating with a kind of, you know, because they've got these like the Nigerian uh, Afro pop stars that are doing so well. Yeah. I mean, you look at the band and stuff. You mean, would you ever see P Square, obviously? Yeah. Would you ever see yourself maybe kind of diving into that market a little bit? I would love to. Mm-hmm. I, went, I went to Nigeria for the first time in. December, mm-hmm. just gone, um, and it was amazing. I remember um, Chris Brown. I got to see Chris Brown when I went down there, and it was it was interesting mm-hmm. to see how people react to songs that I didn't. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't really know that they loved the songs yeah. that we. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Probably a bit ignorant of me, but. Um, I was just, it, was, it took me by surprise when I, when I saw them going crazy for all the Chris Brown's bangers yeah, and yeah, yeah, love all it. the kind of <laughs> urban and the kind of like hip hop stuff and stuff like that. But it was just so good to see, especially when they went to Afrobeat as well, because the band mm. was the performs mm. and they went crazy. I was like, wow, I've never seen this mm. kind of like energy in yeah, a crowd before. Yeah. So I would definitely love to do some of them stuff. Like, I need to get my Azonto in. I'm not yeah. going to do that Azonto in. Uh, it's kind because I'm a dancer and I'm Well, people look at me and be like, you're Ghanaian, so you should know how to Zonto are, really. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not up to point. I need to, I need to work on it a little bit. I need to work on mine too. I think we can work on it too. <laughs> yes, yeah. we have to try and do try. it. You need to do some like Zonto classes mm. or I need to like phone mm. views or do something I've seen some know. clips on like Vine and on, on Instagram and I'm like, what? How do you do it? I'm trying to do that. I, like, I can do all the popping and locking and waiting. <laughs> all of that stuff. I don't, the, know. I don't know. I just haven't got all of them. I don't I know. I could do the basic as on yeah. I could, but... I could just do the hand machine. <laughs> but when it gets to the foot and all the other stuff, yeah. I have to start combining. That's I'm when a, I get a bit like. I'm a bit crusty. <laughs> I'm just crusty. I okay. Crusty. So, before you leave, we have to do this game where it's like a kiss or miss game where I'm going to ask you three celebrities mm. and you can either choose which one you want to love. Lick or leave them, okay? Lick. Lick. Do you change it? Because I have to change it up. <laughs> yeah? Lick or leave them. <laughs> okay, so yeah. your three celebrities are Brandy, mm-hmm. um, Rihanna, mm-hmm. or. Oh, let's see, number three, number three. Who should I be? Halle Berry. I lick all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're really nice, which I should have someone else in I there. I lick all of them. I hope you're not going to say. Someone that I don't really care yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna, I'm not gonna mention any example. <laughs> I lick all of them. I love Brandy. Yeah. Definitely, I'd love Brandy. Because I'm in love with her. She's a good oh, um, Good Brandy. Very humble lady. Mm. Um, oh, wow. Okay, attitude. Mm. I'd lick all of them. I'd probably, I'd love, I'd love Brandy and I'd love Halle Berry mm. if I could. I'd really <laughs> love Brandy. I, I'd lick Halle Berry and I'd lick. Yeah, no. yeah it's, oh, she got left left at the door. Yeah. Unfortunately. 
Well, there's your choices. There's your choices. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And you thank gave you. me all your. I think you gave me details. Yeah. I think I gave my details. You know. Remember www.jsoars.co.uk. Get me on there. That's it. And that's how you can hit up Jso and check out his new video. The cheer like, like a lady. Amazing video. Check maybe you check, you check that out. Thank you so much for coming here today. No problem. Thank you for being on Urban Smash. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for watching Urban Smash TV. We will catch you soon. Boy, I'm in love with you. This ain't no honeymoon. Past the infatuation phase.